Right, okay folks, in this video, um, we're gonna have a quick look at this low center of gravity battery tray um, for the Traxxas TRX4. Uh, it fits the Bronco and the Defender version. Uh, it probably fit the Sport version as well. Um, so we're gonna compare the two. We're gonna set up a sort of slope um, and a side angle. And then we're gonna see how the stock tray does and then how this tray does. Uh, I'll show you obviously how easy it is to install as well. Uh, let's quick shout out to Mike over at 3D Printed Cornwall who printed this up for me. Um, I mean, this is, it's not a, you know, a nice color or anything. It's just what extra filament he had just to do a test run, um, but it works fine. So I'm happy with it. And you don't really see it once it's inside the truck anyway. Um, he can, we can print you anything. He can print you anything from files. He can design something from the ground up for you. Um, the possibilities are endless. Anyway, let's, uh, let's crack on and test these trays out against each other. All right, to keep it a fair test, we're gonna use this same 3000 milliamp hour three cell LiPo uh, for both tests. This is the battery I'll be running. So uh, some people might think, well, that's a bit small, but no, this is what I will be using. All right, let's give this a go. All right, folks, this is the first test with the stock tray in and the 3000 milliamp hour battery. I'm having to do it with the shell on uh, because I'm on testing. I found out I'm running out of grip before I'm tipping backwards. So uh, we'll have to do it that way. So we're starting off on a 48 degree angle. Oh, I'm just going to help it initially. I'm going to drag my rear bumper off. It's got to get back down as well because in the real world you possibly have to reverse back down without tipping up. So I'll angle that up a bit more. 49. I'll go for 50. Again, I'm just helping it up because of my winch angle. Once it's on there, I'm leaving it go. 50 degrees is probably going to be about the maximum for this. That's pretty much going to tip back, I think, anymore. Let's angle this up a little bit more. We'll go to 50. 51 degrees. So we'll say 50 degrees is a tipping point um, for the stock tray with the 3000 milliamp hour pack. Still in there, just to prove I'm not switching anything around. We'll go and install the new tray. No, we won't guys, we'll do the side slope as well. Okay guys, we're just gonna test the side hooding capabilities or the angle tolerance of the, um, the stock tray. Just crude rig I've set up here. Um, I'm not gonna drive it up. I'm just gonna literally place it on there until it falls off and then we'll know. So currently 38 degrees. And we'll just keep going till it tips up. Okay, so 38 is too much already. So that's 33, let's try that. Okay, so it's holding there all right. I'd say that's decent. What I'll do, I'll make sure I'm lifting it up as well so the suspension's fully you know, retracted. So 33 is that. I'll go just a touch more. Try 34. So 34, that's all right. Do more than that. 35. So 35. I reckon I'll do a little bit more. Try 37. 37. Yeah, 37 is too much. So I'm going to say 35 maximum with the stock tray for the side angle. Um, let's go switch the tray over, and then we'll come back and try both tests again. All right, guys. So removing the old tray is easy. It's literally two screws here. There's one, one there, and the same on the other side. And then all you've got to do is Basically so lift it up, give it a bit of a twist, and it pops out. And to put the new one in, it's pretty much exactly the same as taking the old one out. I 
just like that. Slides back. And that's it. And then it's just two screws there and the same either side in there. Right guys, this is the uh, side uh, side hill test again with the new lower tray in. Uh, same 3000 milliamp hour pack. The last tray was about 35 degrees, uh, was the maximum side slope. Right, so 30, 36 degrees. Well, we'll start off with one degree over, we'll start with 36 degrees then. And see if that makes any difference. We'll go straight. Oh, I don't know. Let's just do it to 37. I don't think it's going to do it because it was barely. Oh guys, I'm, I'm shocked. 38 degrees. I don't think for a minute. No, not at all. What should we say? 36, say one degree, one degree more on the stock tray. Let's try the uphill. Right folks, so this is the uphill test for the lower uh, centre gravity battery tray. Uh, the stock tray did it uh, 50 degrees, it maxed out at. So I've set this to 50 degrees. Um, if it can't do that, then there's no point in going on. Just to show you the low tray with the body shell on. It's doing it. It's doing it easier than it did the last one. So top line, and then we've got to get back down again. I don't think we're going to get much more angle than that. So we'll knock it up to 51. I don't think we're going to get that. Nope. No, so I'm going to call it, guys. I mean, that's not much better. I mean, it's better on the side slope, which you kind of expect it to be. Uh, being that, you know, the centre of gravity is a lot lower, it's going to help with the side tilt. Because, um, say, the battery's still at the back, um, which is going to pull it back a little bit. Um, so, yeah, side hill wise. It's going to be ideal for you Defender boys, because we all know they're a little bit top heavy. Um, but up here wise, not much difference. Anyway, I'm going to pop all the links um, below um, for the print file, uh, Mike's uh, website, Facebook links, um, and anything else I've used. Alright, thanks for watching. Bye.